Welcome to our podcast, Moja Kafa. We are Ivana and Maki, your host. In this podcast, we discuss interesting details about Serbian language and culture from a learner's and teacher's perspective. We offer new and fun resources for learners of Serbian. To follow each episode with annotated script, vocabulary and quizzes, join us also at Moja Kafa Podcast on Instagram. So if you're ready, grab a cup of coffee and enjoy the podcast. Dobro jutro svima. Maki ovde i... Ivana ovde sa kafom. Da. Turskom kafom, domaćom kafom. Domaćom kafom. <laughs> Bez kafom. šećera. <laughs> Bez šećera. Yeah, that's true. I also don't drink it with sugar. <laughs> anyway, okay. guys, today we're going to talk about the weather. Yeah. So we're going to... So how is the weather in your city today? Oh, do you want me to say it in Serbian or do you want me to say it in, in English? It's... Say it in, in Serbian first. English. Let me see if I understand. Sunčano. Sunčano. Sunny. Yes, wow, sunny. you're lucky. <laughs> I know. I, th- I should probably run after this episode and run like out and soak in the sun as much as I can. <laughs> uh, how's the weather at your place? Mm, I always mix those two, but oblačno. Oblačno. Mm. Oblačno, sorry. cloudy, and maglovito mm. is foggy. So yes. I always mix Is it Maglovito? No, it's not. But sometimes no. it's okay. Happens. Actually, on the mountains it is. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. If you're in a mountainous area, it's probably going to be foggy, especially if you're in the valley or yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the weather. We're going to talk about how you say some, that it's like sunny mm-hmm. or we're going to teach you how to ask about the weather yeah. and explain what the weather is like, the degrees and everything. And also mm-hmm. we're going to have a clip where you're going to, it's an authentic clip. Yeah. Um, and we're going to dissect it a bit and, you know, you can you can figure it out a real forecast from tv we have for you <laughs> exactly and i just told maki it was so difficult for me to find something that was easy for you guys because a lot of these people just use very technical words and to be mm-hmm. honest for me also like i don't need to necessarily know what that means you know just tell me if it's sunny or it's cloudy or whatever it's <laughs> gonna rain and that's it degree is yeah <laughs> Exactly. And that's all I need to know. And like these specific words, I don't. So uh, I hope we are going to nail it this time and yeah. you're gonna, not going to have any issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite season, Ivana? Yes. My favorite season, I think I would have, actually I'm struggling between the two. I think I would say summer hmm. because in summer, which is Leto in Serbian mm-hmm. uh, and it's um, neuter actually to leto mm-hmm. um it's just i i like when i'm warm that's the only reason and i know that it can be sometimes too hot but that i don't know like you can go swimming then you can like you know go into the forest and the forest is a bit colder you know yeah. it's like protecting so i just i love it but i do like the spring which is proleche mm-hmm. um i do love it because of the like you know rebirth <laughs> of the flowers yeah. and, and plants and everything that's it's just magical, magical. i love walking around in, in spring right now actually it's full of interesting trees and there are lovely flowers here i have never seen such trees in, in turkey they're, no. they're like so gorgeous in the south i don't know if you have them in the north but they're so beautiful but that's the thing i don't know because i haven't been in the south when it was spring mm-hmm. like it, i just went there when it was like um i don't know like summer or winter mm-hmm. so, so i will send you, you the pictures ex- then <laughs> yes yeah let's share them um that so for you it's spring for me yeah it's late spring though because i like the late. warmth as well so i need to, yeah. i don't want to carry a jacket with me <laughs> i don't know i feel like it's a if you ask someone in serbia they're probably gonna say like some warmer Mm -hmm. um season either spring or or summer because we just love being in the sun we just love being outside we love activities we love like and in in winter you can't really do much yeah Yeah. if you go to kapaonik right but you can't really do a lot i mean my hiking friends love the winter because they love hiking in Um, the snow but still i think in the summer they are more relaxed and they can go to more places yeah i mean don't tell me about hiking we don't have like hiking <laughs> trails in the north only in fruška gora on fruška gora I know. but like the rest is flat like there's like that's one of the things that i realized i was like where do i go if i want to take a walk there's nothing uh 
picturesque, mm. you know, at least for me. You, maybe some people are going to get very angry, but to be honest, I enjoy the hills. Mm -hmm, I enjoy too. the mountains. Well, the hills more, mm -hmm. I would say, but yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's spring, summer, and then we have yesen. Yesen, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is fall or autumn. Mm -hmm. and, and then zima. we have. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so let's talk about the climate in or the weather in Serbia or, or climate. Hmm. Um, and I actually like wrote in like you you wrote down compare the climate of Germany and Serbia. Yeah. And I would say there's a slight difference. I think nowadays it's not that that too different because of the global warming and everything. Mm -hmm. We really have like hot hot summers, but I think Serbia in my area uh, it's more. Um, it's like it can get really hot mm -hmm. in the summer and it can get really cold in the winter and it's called the uh, continental climate mm -hmm. so the the summers are like hot and humid which is not the case in the south which is a bit more dry yeah like the summers are dry and because there's like a mountainous area in the south there's more like snow and everything yeah but still i was expecting a harsher this was my first winter here and mm. It didn't snow a lot here, and mm -hmm. it was really mild. But many people here say it wasn't like that, so it's because of climate crisis. But still, yeah, it is uh, warmer than I expected. <laughs> but yes, you know, I even talked to people in Germany, and I remember being like, well, I wasn't expecting Germany to be so hot <laughs> in the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, well, it wasn't like that 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think... Like things are changing because we, I remember being like, oh, in the, I'm going to have snow in December. But then December passed and there was no snow in, in Serbia, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, I think it's just changing a lot. But we definitely have snow. We always have snow yeah. depending on how long it like it stays and how long it mm -hmm. um, falls. How dense it yeah, falls. Exactly. But yeah. which one is sunnier like throughout the year? Um, I think they're both like the same year, like the what do you mean Germany or Serbia? Germany or, or, or Serbia. Or, mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Serbia, definitely Serbia. I think the the temperatures are higher. Mm -hmm. We do have usually we have two weeks here of like really hot mm -hmm. weather, but in Serbia, I remember it's like two three months you have of like you have to carry water with you. Yeah, you have to. But I feel like even like there was such a kind of like difference between win the winter and the summer. Like in other areas of the world, there's like, for example, I don't know, Russia or wherever, there's mm -hmm. probably even a bigger gap between, I don't want to say Russia, but I don't know where, but like, I feel like there's, they can even go more into minus mm -hmm. in winter and more into plus in summer. But we have like Serbia is technically should have like, should have like very typical seasons. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, you know, when you watch like movies and everything, like with four seasons, that's that's Serbia. We Definitely. have all of them. Yeah. yeah, I love the weather here. By the way, <laughs> nice. How is it different in Turkey? I mean, Turkey has also like four seasons, and all of them. I mean, I I haven't lived there for the last eight years, so it's mm. changing a lot there. I'm sure, but um, it reminds me of my um, hometown. Actually, this place, oh. the southern Serbia, like the the same fruits, the same kind of. Um, housing oh. types like architecture so i feel like i'm home here <laughs> yeah so the the south of serbia should go should have more like the mediterranean climate yeah and that's why it should mm -hmm. like slightly differ from the north so Definitely. yeah that's probably why it's you good <laughs> yeah good and my ah. question everybody mm -hmm. here uh, says especially when we talk about the podcast Ioana is from the north i say like from over here <laughs> and then they're like Ah, uh, it's so flat. People yeah. uh, are so slow there. The climate <laughs> changes them. They sl speak like a turtle. Like they slow yes. down. Like, okay. And like, Ivana is not like that. She's very active and she <laughs> she yeah. speaks quite fast. And I don't know why they think so. Are you the exception there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, I, I still think that when I speak in Serbian, it doesn't mean that we we don't speak sometimes very fast. You, you're gonna. I had people who speak very slow, mm -hmm. and some people that spoke very very fast. I think it also depends on where, like which village you are from mm -hmm. or like town you're from. But uh, yeah, the tendency is to prolong the words. You know, like just the accent. Mm -hmm. So, 
I remember one of my, I remember going to, and it got even worse when people from the villages started coming in, in like to, to my town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my, my town is not like really big, but for Serbia is quite a mm-hmm. like well-sized city. And, um, and I went to high school and that's where like people from other villages started coming in because, you know, in villages, you don't really have like many high schools and yeah. so on. You don't have one to choose from. So there was one girl who she was supposed to say Lanyir, which is like the ruler. And instead of saying Lanyir, she asked people if they have Lanyir, <laughs> you know, or like, for example, to say up and down, mm-hmm. you say usually got it. Mm-hmm. Up, down, dole. So it's a short accent. But in, in my area, you can also, you'll probably hear gore and dole. You know, <laughs> that's totally fine. And I sometimes see. I use it too. So I definitely have that accent. I don't think that much, but I do have it. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel about the southern accent? Um, do you easily follow it or do you find it funny or... <laughs> I do find it funny because that's not what I was uh, surrounded with. And that's always like whenever I talk about something like a topic about Serbia and language, I always feel like I'm inadequate to talk about it because I haven't I haven't been exposed to mm-hmm. it. But um, I do find it funny. I find it because, you know, I also had some people, some friends that studied Serbian. So, mm-hmm. you know, they had to learn the standard that yeah. was supposed to be taught. Um, and not saying the standard is the best thing ever. It's not. It's not usually you don't learn that, but it's so like far away from the standard, the the southern accent. But as far as I know, this is the oldest type of kind of like one of the oldest type of sort of dialect that we have. So it's kind of like even more authentic mm-hmm. than mine, I would say. So yeah, I think I, sometimes I don't understand them. You know, sometimes they have like. Somewhere they have different accents, or like on different syllables, mm-hmm. um, different like slang words too, and everything. Mm-hmm. So I find it funny, but <laughs> I love the richness. I'm fine with that. Yeah. By the way, I started to realize the accent differences here, but I don't know which one is what. <laughs> so I just feel okay. like ah, she speaks differently, but <laughs> no conclusions. Just. <laughs> but you know, it's so funny because. It's already such a rich language or like a language variety because if you think about it, I can talk to someone from Croatia, from Bosnia, Mm -hmm. from Montenegro, and then plus we have variations in our own country. I'm so used to people not speaking like a standard variety that Mm -hmm. it's just interesting to learn about it. (laughs) Cool. Yeah. All right. You know, maybe we can do one episode on like the differences when yes, you start noticing. Accents. When That's... you start noticing like some more. <laughs> okay, that would be cool. <laughs> All right. Good. I wrote the like uh, descriptive words like it's sunny, it's rainy, mm-hmm. and everything. But I also wanted to tell you like what the nouns are mm-hmm. that like you derive it from. So sunny is sun- sunčano mm-hmm. in Serbian, but it derives from the sun. Sunce. Sunce. Sunchano. Yeah. So we we say sunchanaye or mm-hmm. or you could just say sunchano. You don't even have to use it. Oh. You can say for example danas ye sunchano. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if someone asks you what weather, mm-hmm. well, what's the weather like? You could just say sunchano. How would they ask? <laughs> oh, I, I wrote it down here. So there are several ways how you can do that. You can ask uh kako je vreme, kako. which is mm-hmm. mm, kako like how mm-hmm. how's the weather like what's the weather like mm-hmm. and you can just say sunchano or you can say sunchano okay. or you can say danas is sunchano mm-hmm. or vreme is sunchano <laughs> but it's just like uh, you don't want to repeat things yeah, right course. that's why you just say sunchano, sunchano. sunchano. Mm-hmm. okay then we have a uh, uh, rainy kishovito oh i always learned like and used Padakisha. <laughs> Aha, yes, sure. You can say padakisha. You which can is, say when it's, it's rains. pouring. It's raining. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is basically the rain is falling. Mm-hmm. Like padati means fall. To fall, fall, I see. But you can also say when it's pouring, like like raining a lot. Plushtikisha. Mm-hmm. Uh, Plushtikisha. Plushti, mm-hmm. yeah. Or you can, there's a noun like. That it's like pouring. Mm-hmm. Um, plusak. Plusak. Okay. Mm-hmm. Without kisha. Without kisha. Mm, no. Because it's already a noun. I see. Plusak, yeah. Okay. 
Kisha is rain, by mm-hmm. the way, I forgot. <laughs> so Kisha Vitor is rainy. Kisha Vitor, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, then we have cloudy, which you mentioned. Yes, oblačno. Mm-hmm. Do you know the noun? Oh, uh, oblač or oblak? Oblak. Yes, oblak. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oblak. Um, and then I also use, like, uh, when you want to say it's cold. Hladno. Hmm. Hladno. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can say hladno, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. And I wrote the noun. You don't necessarily have to know it because I don't think it's that uh, like common. But um, hladnoče. That's like the noun for like, cold, coldness. Hmm, I see. Some. Before we continue with the show, here's a quick reminder. This podcast is free for everyone and supported by listeners like you. We hope that this podcast is useful and companion to you. This is a labor of love for both of us. To help us continue creating useful content for everyone, we will appreciate your help. If you have the means, you can support us in different ways. You may just go to buymeacoffee.com slash podcast and send us some cups of coffee. You may also become a member of our show on patreon.com slash podcast and get extra benefits like bonus content, full transcripts of the show in Serbian, or even join us on the show. We rely on your support to help everyone more in learning Serbian language and culture. Thanks for joining us today. And now let's get back to our episode. But then, of course, we have warm. Mm-hmm. Which, which we is... prefer. Toplo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, toplo. Mm-hmm. And the noun is, the warmth is toplota. Toplota. Okay. Or another one that maybe some people don't love is hot. Mm. Not warm, but hot. Uh, vruće. Vruće. Like it's exactly. disturbing hot, like too hot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or you can also use that for, of course, for like tea hmm. or like coffee. It's like, oh, it's hot. It's like boiling hot. Mm. Um, humid is vlažno. Vlažno. Mm. Mm-hmm. Great. So the noun is? Vlaga. Vlaga. Okay. Mm-hmm. Humidity is vlaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Which we have more in the north, right? Because I said the summer is a bit more humid. Probably, but still here, the rivers, I guess. I was like, yes. where is this humid coming from last summer? Because <laughs> there's no sea here. And in Istanbul, humid so. comes from the sea. So yeah. here's, there's no explanation. The little river? <laughs> yeah. Thinks <laughs> that Vlajna? <laughs> yeah, the Vlaga, Vlaga. Um, then we have windy, which is Vetrovito. Oh. So wind is Vetter. Vetter. Mm. Mm. And uh, then we have foggy, which is Maglovito. That's what you said. Mm. And the fog is Magla. Yeah. There's even a song. You have to check it out. Magla, Magla, Neje, Obuze. You have to check it because she has, the singer has a very specific voice, mm. I would say. Is it like a Kafana music? It's a turbo folk music. Turbo folk, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was it was a thing when I was a teenager. Oh, we were just it was a hit, but it's a funny song. Okay. Um, and then snow is snežno. Mm. And pada sneg that I mm-hmm. learned again. Exactly. So you can say pada sneg, pada kisha. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, oh, I, one thing that I didn't add was hailing. Oh, that's you know, true. It happens yeah. here. How? We would say pada grad. Grad. And it's funny because grad city. is city. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I think the difference is probably, I probably pronounced it, uh, pronounced it incorrectly. I think the difference is in the accent. I think mm. it should be short, not grad, but like pada grad. Mm. I think so. Another way to say pada sneg, it's like the snow is falling, it's yeah. snowing, is veje sneg. Veje sneg. Veje. Mm. Yeah, we have it also sometimes in some of our songs. So yeah. Oh, okay, good, good. to know. So how do you say... Like last night when we were sleeping, it rained, and you wake up in the morning. Ah, it rained. <laughs> ah. So in past uh, tense, I don't know how to say. Oh, okay. We would say uh, padala je kisha. Padala je kisha. And the reason why I would say padala, like uh, female. kisha, is female, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, it's a um, continuous also event mm-hmm. because the whole night it was raining. Yeah. Right? So or it had been raining or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, and or like you can also say pa- pala kisha. Hmm. But I, so for some reason, uh, that would mean like, um, for me, it wouldn't mean like a continuous, continuous event. It would hmm. probably be like something that happened very recently. Like, oh, it just 
it has just rained hmm. like a second ago or something like that. I That's see. That's what I'm thinking more. Okay. But yeah. Good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And how have you mentioned the degree, the, the temperature? Um, so a degree is Stepen. Stepen. <laughs> yes. And like the, a name to me, Stepen. Stepen. <laughs> and the plural is Stepeni. Mm. Um, and the thing is that there, that's basically because we use Celsius, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's step and Celsius, but we never use Celsius because yeah. you know we, mm -hmm. we don't have. I mean, we don't use Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. so for us, it's like it's not even in our minds. Mm -hmm. Like we don't think about it. Of course. And then the easy one, of temperature. Course. The same, just the pronunciation changes. Temperatura. Yes. <laughs> yes, which you also use for fever, which is funny, <laughs> but yeah. Temperatura. And then I also wanted to add like high and low, which is like niska, visoka temperatura, mm -hmm. for example. Or I had something else here. Oh, you can also add like jaka kisha, like the strong, strong rain. Mm. A slaba, which is uh, weak. Mm -hmm. We can also add that. That will be something that you could hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you already kind of like asked me about the, the question. And one of the questions is like, kako e vreme, mm -hmm. which is like the manner. What's the man, like, how, what's the weather like? We mm -hmm. use kako for the manner. Um, but you can also ask uh, like for the temperature. Uh, what, what, what's the temperature? Mm -hmm. What's the temperature like? Which you, I would say you could use both um, question words. Kakva je temperatura. Mm -hmm. What kind of temperature is it? Mm -hmm. And koya je temperatura. And koya is like basically means like which specific which. one mm -hmm. is it in a way which mm -hmm. yeah. And the answer is number, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So you have to give a number or uh, yeah, we wouldn't say you can of course say vi, uh, visoka niska temperatura, but it doesn't tell you anything. Niska yeah. can be like you know. It's so just, you have to specify. <laughs> Yeah, so again here you can just say um it's the penny, dvades it's the penny. Stepeni in plural of course. Let mm -hmm. me tell you the weather here. It is uh dvanes stepeni. So Oh Dvanes <laughs> you can just say dvanes stepeni or dvana dvanes je stepeni. Yes stepeni, okay. Aha. And yours? Kakva je vreme onda. Ah uh we would say kotebe. Kotebe. Mm. At your place, yeah. Um, ovde je osam stepeni. Osam. Mm. Mm. It's uh, visoka there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, for Germany it is high. But I find it funny because awesome, mm -hmm. it sounds like awesome. Yeah. You know, doesn't it? <laughs> That's but true. yeah, it's, uh, it's not, for me it's not awesome. Eight degrees is not Not great. great, no. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to insert the clip yes. right, that you're going to listen to. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over it and um, just kind of like uh, some of the words we're not going to explain because I feel like they're like too much. But like the important words that we already mentioned mm -hmm. are there. So you, I hope you're going to be able to figure out yeah. what the clip is about. But one question before the clip starts, how, how is the name? Well, like what is the name of the program? Like weather forecast in Serbia? Mm. Vremenska prognoza. U Srbiji posle hladnog i mestimično maglovitog jutra tokom dana pretežno sunčano i toplo. Duvaće slab vetar promenljivog pravca. Jutarnja temperatura od 7 do 13, najviša dnevna od 24 do 28 stepeni. Good. Okay. U Srbiji, in Serbia, yeah. well, which is really uh -huh. easy. And then it's because we have poslo, posle, which basically means after. Yeah. And after the cold and partially foggy, yes, so cold is hladnog mm -hmm. and maglovitog foggy jutra. Jutro is neuter. That's why we have all of these changes mm -hmm. in suffixes. And then it says tokom dana, which is during the day. Yeah, like yeah. the rest of the day is basically going to be pretežno sunčano i toplo. Pretežno is... Is mostly mostly hmm. mostly, but like all the, like you don't have to remember that <laughs> because these are like the specific words that mm -hmm. for maybe later stages. So because of postle, it became hladnog i maglovitog. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So first it's cold and foggy and uh, like the morning, and then the afternoon is actually going to be sunny and warm yes. mostly, mm -hmm. right? And then oh, there's a lot hard word coming. Dvačeslav vetar promenljivog pravca. 
So, by the way, I don't really I realize, realize that um, it doesn't really specify where exactly in Serbia this is, but okay, fine, just for anywhere. Um, Duvać je slab vetar promenjivog pravca, which is the, like, there's going to be a slab, you remember, weak mm-hmm. wind, vetar. Um, like, there's going to be weak wind blowing. Promenjivog uh, pravca mm-hmm. means, like, in changing direction. Ah, okay. So there's no, like, it's not going to be, like, southern or, like, whatever. It's going to be, go everywhere, in every I direction. See. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we have jutarnia temperatura od 7 do 13. Najviša dnevna od 24 do 28 stepeni. Exactly. Was that easy? It is, because it's the most the numbers. <laughs> Exactly, which we don't really like specify that much. So it's like the morning temperature. Utania. Be f- mm. I didn't hear that before, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the nevna is uh, daily mm. temperature. Utania is morning temperature. So od 7 to 13, from 7 to 13. The highest uh, daily is like, ranging from 24 to 28 mm-hmm. degrees Celsius. And as you can see, she doesn't specify stepeni tells you. So she just yeah, says stepeni. stepeni yeah. So we Makes never sense. use that word. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's yeah, this cool. is basically the, the kind of the realistic picture of what you're going to hear. But mm-hmm. it can get way more complicated. This is like the easier mm-hmm. um, clip that we found. Mm-hmm. And yeah. But it's full of new words like Duvacha, Utania, the name now. Cool. I think they but will the find it that useful. You can also re like you can also remember these words in pairs. So, for example, for example, like pada kisha. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, duva vetar. Duva vetar. That's, maybe we should add mm. duva vetar. So, when you hear like duva che, then you know that it's blowing, right? Mm-hmm. Or like pada che, you know that it's something. You maybe don't know if it's like the past tense mm-hmm. or the future tense, but you know that it what it actually means. Mm-hmm. You know. So, and then you can maybe navigate, like, okay, so if they say today or tomorrow, maybe if they say morning or afternoon, that you kind of can maybe get it, mm-hmm. you know, but guys, is it gets more complicated. So like, you know, don't get discouraged. It's just like a lot of practice and you have yeah. to just, there's so many videos online on yeah, the yeah. weather forecast in Serbia. So just, just, <laughs> just listen go to enjoy them. them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. In the last minute, we, I would like to talk about the activities. Mm-hmm. to do in, in each season here yeah well you wrote down the summer i wrote also down winter but i definitely feel that there's more things to do in the summer mm-hmm. and uh, that's really really convenient for me because i was thinking of going to serbia in the, the summer mm-hmm. and uh, doing some activities so not just to go to like the, to the north i really wanted to go to the south yeah so i googled a bit yeah i mean i don't know if that's going to happen you know depending on the job on the covid and everything mm-hmm. but definitely one like this year next year i have to go and the best thing to do is like there are many things that you can do Mm -hmm. there's so many like um agencies that organize these things Hmm. you know so you can you don't have to think about anything they think about the food about the like like transport everything so there's rafting which we also call rafting or splavarenje Splavarenje. but Mm. rafting is you know (laughs) there's uh canyoning canyoning you say good it's like canoeing uh, it, but it also means um, going up and down the waterfalls, hmm. like where you with the wire. That's also something that I didn't know. Yeah, I just learned that uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> then okay. there's uh, hiking, planinarenje, which you were doing. Of yes. Course. <laughs> you can go camping, kampovanje, mm-hmm. um, spas, banje. Yes, right? South is full of banje. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have Etnosela, which is Etno Villages. You can mm. visit, visit them if you don't love the adventure, you know, that you can also go there. They're very nice, picturesque. Mm-hmm. There's paragliding, kayaking, cycling, like mm-hmm. all of these things you can you can organize. And they also organize like um, trips outside, it, like inside, uh, you organize it inside of Serbia, but they, you go outside of Serbia. You yeah. can even go to Bosnia, you can go over to like Montenegro, like, because again, Bulgaria. that was one... Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. So there's so many things that you can do, but of course you can do all of these things in Serbia. Why didn't we add swimming? <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know because I was thinking people go swimming. to lakes to swim here in the summer. 
oh man you have to you, you we I... need something like a lake or a river or uh, like a swimming pool yeah, yeah. and in Belgrade have... they have nice beaches on the rivers <laughs> yes exactly strand that's what we call them yeah so they, they, we have to have something there, there's water we can like cool down because yeah. the summers are really fun mm -hmm. yeah and then i wrote down in winter there's like skiing and skating of course and yeah. that's mostly what you can do in the summer hiking as well snow. people yeah. go hiking in the snow here and they love it <laughs> yeah you went hiking too, yes right? in the snow yeah. it was fun yeah 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 well i haven't she she's more experienced than me i'm the southern or the northern that's <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> we should clash <laughs> anyway guys i hope you learned something i think mm -hmm. we not only talked about the vocabulary but a lot about the like climate, climate and the cultural mm -hmm. stuff and i think you learned how southerns people. are affected by their climate and northerns yeah. as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely the stereotypes never you'll figure it out all when you visit serbia so we're kind of like advertising it now okay. not sponsored by anyone <laughs> okay everybody okay. read the scripts on our instagram account and get ready for the next quiz mm -hmm. see you bye 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 prietno prietno Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our podcast and learned something new. In case you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, make sure to share them on our Instagram page, Moje Kafa Podcast. Prijatno!